What we had here is Yelp. The surprise out of Yelp and the reason that they've lost a third of their market cap in a couple of hours here is that they added no new advertisers in the quarter. This is the first time I've seen this with a company since they've started disclosing this metric. We've had a change in the type of contracts that they're selling to advertisers. That was one of the reasons we were bullish on the stock. We did intra quarter survey work that looked constructive as far as we can tell. So we were very surprised by these results and so was the market and that's why it's traded off this much. If you can't grow your advertiser business, that means sooner or later you're not going to be able to grow revenue and that's why the stock should rightfully be cut. We think it's at a trough multiple so we'll stick with the buy but there's no question here it's fundamentally challenged. Jeff does that speak to when you look at a company like Yelp and, and the advertiser situation there does that really speak to the fact that Google and Facebook continue to dominate advertising and it's so hard for smaller companies to pick up some of that share. Yeah, that's the issue nobody's talking about. I mean, Yelp, uh, you've got companies like Yelp and others that are trying to compete in a world that's dominated by Google. Amazon's uh, advertising revenue is growing dramatically as people increasingly directly navigate to Amazon for product searches. It's a really challenging uh, environment for small cap names in the ad space. You've also got Facebook, which commands a huge percentage of that, that audience as well. But just go onto your mobile device or your browser and do a Google search, and you'll see that all of the top results are either Google or Amazon. Uh, and increasingly, Google's pulling in its own results from, uh, from, from other content sites. So it's, it's a tough space that Yelp's competing in. I'd also point, though, to the other side in e-commerce, where we have companies like Shopify and Etsy that are doing very well competing uh, against Amazon in a, in a large cap world. And so there are opportunities. We just think it's more on the e-commerce side than it is on the advertising side. Mark, coming back on this um, Yelp issue, for, for them, it's around advertisers, but it seems like there are a number of companies in the internet space that have failed in one metric or another to meet the, the growth metrics that the street was hoping for, whether it's a streaming company, social media company, et cetera. Is, is there any larger narrative to be concerned about, about uh, just how quickly these companies might take over uh, the, their respective sections of the world, whether it has to do with advertising or users themselves? Yeah, you set up the question right, John, and, uh, you know, Jeff's got the larger correct point here, which is that this is a sector, and maybe across tech as a whole, but certainly across consumer internet, it's a sector of consolidation, and there are very few exceptions to this rule. In retail, you know, revenue is really going, at least in North America and Western Europe, is going to one company, that's Amazon, and so it's taking the lifeblood out of names like uh, eBay. I think Jeff would know this better than I would. I think that's also happening in China. On the advertising side, yes, there's two platforms. The surprise here is that Amazon's actually emerging as an advertising platform, but they're going after different ad budgets for now. But that leaves very little room for anybody else, and that's probably the oxygen that's being taken out of the uh, out of uh, out of Yelp. Uh, there's maybe one interesting play in small mid-cap internet uh, that can still grow very nicely in. Um, in, uh, in advertising dollars, and that's the Trade Desk. That's a company that reported last night, TTD. It's a name that we like, but that's almost the exception to the rule. Con consolidation concentration leaves very little room for small mid-cap names unless they're really unique and they, and they execute extremely well, and that's not what Yelp's been doing. Jeff, a lot of questions about China today. Uh, we're watching Tencent, Baidu, Alibaba, Singles Day coming up, but broad macro worries about their, con their economy and the degree to which they're getting squeezed on this trade front. Uh, what are people saying in your circles? Well, I just came back from two weeks in Beijing, so I've got some, some very real-time data. Uh, you know, it's interesting. I mean, you mentioned the, the large cap companies in China. I mean, Tencent's lost over $250 billion in market cap, largely over concerns about the macro in China as well as their gaming business. But if you think about the longer term over the next five to ten years, uh, where I see opportunity and where we see opportunity as investors, you talk about not only China, where roughly 80% uh, of the market in e-commerce is still offline. So that's going to come to Alibaba. That's going to come to the micro app economy on WeChat. Uh, but then you also talk about Southeast Asia, Latin America, uh, Brazil, India, these other markets where the bulk of the economy is still offline. The consumers are still banking offline. But they've all now got a mobile device in their hands. So we see an opportunity for several billion consumers. And my bet and our bet is that uh, the Chinese companies, Tencent and Alibaba in particular, will do very well in those markets. They're way out ahead of Amazon, Facebook, Google in those markets in terms of monetizing those users and building a banking and commerce relationship with them. So I think there's, there's certainly concerns about China, but you have to look to the long term if you want to be bullish on these, on these names.